Hello YouTube, this is Prash from a channel called X Accounting. Uh, today I'll be showing you a, a very useful VBA code which can you can create as a, as a button in your uh, in your ribbon, just like here I have. Uh, it just sits next besides to Power Pivot uh, and a ribbon as a button. So basically, this is the same uh, same sort of VBA code which I I made tutorial in my first video on this channel, which is rounding up your uh, selected uh, cell formula cells uh, with the roundup for function so in this tutorial i'll be showing you how to uh, wrap up your formula in your selection with the help of a bio code with uh, if error so if error function uh, most of you know know that it is a very useful function it uh, it gives you uh, it i think it's a relatively new function added in excel 2010 and onwards so basically what it does I'll just give you a brief intro. If there is enough uh, error in uh, in in formula, it gives you an alternate value. So suppose uh, there was an error in this particular formula on cell uh, V22, which is nothing but division of gross profit with sale. So gives you percentage. So suppose if I add here a, form, a if error function. and if there is an error i want it to be this uh, value to be zero suppose there is an error so right now there is no error so it will give you the value i want but if i put uh, a denominator of this uh, particular uh, particular formula which is uh, division so it will give me as uh, it will give me an error if there was no if error so since there was an error here, this formula, the function of here, if error has generated a value zero. So if error can be used in many ways, like in 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 a large VLOOKUP sheet where you want to uh, extract particular data uh, from another sheet with the help of VLOOKUP function, and uh, you know the errors, uh, uh, you want to ignore error for time being and to go and go on with your calculation. That that's when the if error function will be helpful. So I'll be doing a separate tutorial for if error function and it's very easy to use and it's very useful uh, when you ignore you want to ignore uh, errors in your calculation so I'll show you the demo of this particular uh, uh, VBA code uh, a macro code which which is very useful and which is very smart and I got this code from a, a, a website called uh, the spreadsheet guru.com it has a, a very very well designed and very smart code designed for us to use free of use you just copy paste this in your in your in your vba uh, vba directory or you can create a personal macro workbook you can copy there or you can, or you can create an excel add in for it for it uh, to you, you can use it all the time so what i did is i created a, a, a custom ribbon and i added that particular macro here as a button so whenever i want to use it i just have to click here so uh, credit goes to this particular person who has created this this particular uh, code for us it's it's a very very smart code and i'll just show you how smart it is so suppose uh, you want to wrap up this particular formula this to this uh, this particular row which can create errors uh, if the field of sale is not there because basically it's dividing gross profit row 9 with row 7 so b9 with uh, dividing b9 with b7 so let us wrap up this with this particular function i'll show you what this function has so much uh, so much to offer to us and it is it is very flexible so i click once here it will give me if error it will wrap up this particular cell formula in this cell with if error and if there is an error it will give me nothing actually a blank cell so let's test that I will put zero in the cell, and you can, as you can see, it didn't give me error. While here we didn't wrap it up with anything, so it it, it gave me error. But here it's it's since we have the if error function uh, wrapping up the formula, it it gave me a null value, a zero value, uh, not zero value, a blank cell. So now, if you want to put zero instead of blank, you can just click again in this particular formula, the custom VBA code. It will give me option of zero and uh, if you don't want anything if you want to get back to the function i mean if i to get back to the formula as it was you click one more so on a third click of toggling you'll get your uh, original formula back so it's very useful very flexible 
and if suppose there is already if error it will not wrap it up again with the if error so it will not be if error if error again so it is very smart function so you can toggle it uh, to get a, uh, two different values if there is an error either blank completely blank uh, cell or zero or if you don't want anything you click third time and it will remove the if error wrap up so uh, uh, all credit once again goes to uh, this particular uh, website uh, and it uh, I, I like to thank him uh, him or her who has created this it really helped me a lot in my work and I'm sure many of you would benefit from this so I'll show you how to create Excel add-in and put it right in this particular ribbon a custom ribbon and you can use it whenever you want I'll be showing you how to create Excel add-in to to get a, a, a to get a if error uh, a very smart if uh, if error VBA code which I showed you just now as a button so we'll go to we'll be going to develop a tab and click visual basic or you can uh, do a shortcut which is alter f11 so we have to go to uh, this workbook workbook one which is open right now and right click and insert a module and now we have to go to the the code which I have pasted here in in, in, in uh, notepad and we'll be pasting it to this particular model so this is done that's all you have to do and your VBA code is ready to run and we'll be just saving it and we'll be saving this workbook as Excel add-in so choose the form format as Excel add-in like this so I'll be naming it wrap up if if error we'll just save it and we are done now if you go to your developer tab again in any workbook just open any work blank workbook already existing workbook you have to go to Excel add-ins and you'll see the uh, already created Excel add-in is available you just have to click uh, you just have to take it and click OK now once you have activated uh, your add-in in from in Excel add-in you have to uh, bring it that particular add-in uh, as a button to your customized macros tab to uh, customize macros ribbon in, in, in ribbon as, as a button just like we have round up cells here so for that we will have to go to Excel options and we will have to go to uh, customize uh, toolbar and uh, we have to collect, select the macros and we have to select new group as you can see here and we'll be choosing uh, macros and we'll be choosing wrap up if error just like this and we'll be clicking add button so it will add uh, as, a, as, a, as a button and we can rename it if you want but I'll keep the name same as it, it suggests what it is and I'll be choosing a, a avatar or symbol for it I'll be choosing uh, this right, right tick and okay so now as you can see it has created a button ready to use wherever you want so we'll, I'll just show you a, a brief demo I'll choose the whole table and it will only uh, wrap up uh, cells with which has formulas so as all the formulas have uh, been uh, wrapped up with uh, if error and as I showed you before the first option is always blank cell if the well if there is an error it will be blank so I'll just delete all this for for a demo purpose and all the GP cross profit row 10 and row, uh, row 13 net profit which is which was dependent on sale value uh, as a denominator has now nil nothing uh, completely blank cell if I choose uh, if I click it second time if we wrap up if I have a button it will give me zero and if I should click for the third time it will give me the error the nothing it will remove the if error wrap up 
as you can see here. So that's it. And again, just like round up cells formula, this is a very smart function. So if there is nothing in your selection, it will pop up a message saying like this. There are no, there are no formulas found in your selection. So it is completely harmless formula and it will not screw up anything else when you run this as it depends on the uh, see your selection first and also in your selection it checks the cells which has formula only. So if you have a constant like number or text field or direct data entry it will not touch. So uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. For Once again I will give uh, total credit to this, uh, this page PrashitGuru.com for creating this particular a very smart if error wrap up function uh, and uh, uh, as it has helped me I'm sure it will help you a lot I just showed you how to uh, put it uh, very effectively in your ribbon itself and use it as you will so, so I'll see you in my next episode for uh, X accounting thank you very much